I'm Jim Ward and my brother Bob and I farm about 140 acres of diversified vegetables here in Sharon, Massachusetts. Our farm is called Ward's Berry Farm. We market our uh, 45 acres of sweet corn through our farm stand with just a small little bit of wholesale. We've reduced herbicide use across the farm and one of the only herbicide applications we still make is a banded reduce rate application of dual and atrazine over sweet corn. And uh, we have the usual mix of weeds, uh, broadleaf weeds and grasses. We do it post-emergent with crop oil and we feel like we get really good control. This is the sprayer we use to uh, spray all our sweet corn and a lot of other things. And we um, had been broadcasting atrazine and dual over all our corn acreage, but have a bunch of reasons why we want to reduce the amount of herbicide we use. So we've started to band it right over the row. We're setting up our sprayer for banding herbicides over the corn. And what I'm doing now is plugging every other nozzle. Um, the, there's nozzles every 18 inches, our corn's every three feet. I'm trying to get just leave the nozzles over the rows. I'm plugging every other one with a little, black, little brass plug. I put the screen back in with the plug just so I know where it is. It's really as simple as can be. I'm using a, um, an 80 degree flat fan nozzle, which is a, um, we use all over the farm for a bunch of applications, but it's really well suited for herbicide application. And I like to give it a little bit of an angle there, a little more than I normally give so that I have a, a narrower fan when, I, when I'm spraying. We use it at about 50, 50 psi and uh, we get not too much drift and the, it has a nice pattern at that, at that pressure. We like to hold it about 18 inches above the ground. This is a post-emergent application and that can happen anywhere from three weeks after planting in the early part of the year to uh, 10 days after planting when the soils are warmer. We like to get in before the broadleaf weeds are an inch and a half tall. If we wait longer than that, you can not control some of those broadleaf weeds, but more importantly, uh, you could also miss the grasses, which will be germinating. By the time the broadleaf weeds are an inch and a half tall, you'll often have grasses germinating, and the metallochlor in the mix is not good at post-emergent control. So we need to get that on before the grasses germinate. Because we're going post-emergent, we need to use crop oil. So we um, use crop oil to break down the waxy cuticle of the leaf so that that post-emergent application can, can kill a broadleaf weed up to an inch and a half tall. The corn is usually at this stage when we're applying the herbicides, this or a little bit smaller. Um, and this is the usual mix of weeds that we're uh, attacking. You can see lots of red root pigweed in here. And there's some lamb's quarter and we've uh, got, also got yellow nutsedge. The pigweed and lamb's quarter and our other broadleafs are well controlled by the atrazine. There'll be no trace of them in a few days after the application, but the yellow nutsedge will escape it all the time. And uh, cultivation will take care of that enough so that we still get a good yield. Here you can see really good corn weed control. You can see that the, you've, we've got good corn weed control in the aisles as well as in the row. That's because uh, sometimes we're holding the boom a little bit high, and so we get spray material in those aisles, but we're not concerned about it drifting into the aisles. We uh, are concerned about reducing the rate. There are a few reasons that we wanted to reduce the amount of herbicide that we use. Uh, the first is that we were asked to by the state because we're sitting on a big aquifer here, and it's uh, known as uh, Zone 2, an aquifer protection district. district. So in order to use uh, these corn herbicides, we have to file a pesticide management plan. And this banding, uh, I guess, started with us because of these pesticide management plans. Um, we've been approved uh, a few, few years in a row because we're reducing this uh, amount of atrazine and dual by half of the lowest labeled rate. So um, that they seem to like that. We like it because it saves us money. We, um, we put half the material on per acre. We, uh, it saves us time because we can now do 12 acres with this one spray tank as opposed to six before. 
um, and we don't have to worry about um, carryover of these herbicides affecting next year's germination. So we uh, we feel confident planting anything on this same ground next year 